It's uh, January the 28th. I almost said October there time. I don't know why. Welcome. We got an incredible, unbelievable amount of documentation for everybody tonight. And if you're having problems, you've been sitting on the page. I had just updated it. You need to refresh your page because that's how Google works sometimes. If I update update the page then on your end you might have issues because there's so much information let me turn the music down and just jump right in with both feet now before we do that I'll remind everybody sorry Normally I cover nuclear for many, many years. I'm a nuclear expert and marine researcher. And this falls right in my path. So if you suck in the virus, and you can get sick. This is different than the flu. This is nothing like the flu. And uh, my heart goes out to everybody, not just uh, worldwide, but of course China is suffering unparalleled um, martial law right now in their country so we have to treat this as a real event until we can prove different so typically you can look up in the sky and there'd be a meteorite and everybody would try to come up with a solution right well, this is different the Hulk is not going to fix it by shaking hands Superman is not going to come and rescue there's no fables here today no fake Spider-Man created by an industry to lull you into complacency. You can throw all the superheroes you got, and they ain't gonna fix nothing. We gotta come up with solutions on our own. I know, it sounds daunting. We gotta find a solution on our own without superheroes fixing it for us. That's okay. There's lots of them out there, but they're too busy shaking hands to try to come up with solutions, believe it or not. So, us mere plebes have to deal with it. Guitar Hero's not going to fix it. Here, pro, GoPro Hero's not going to fix it. And in the old days, we solved our problems. Remember them days? We got rid of our problem. We're going to have to do that. With this coronavirus, we're going to have to kill it. So welcome everybody watching from around this planet. Bless you. We are humbly going to go through an incredible amount of information. Give us a share out there if you got a Facebook and you are still around. Twitter, if you got a Twitter, feel free to give us a share. Give us a like anyway. Don't be so cheap. Give us a like. I'll get serious. My apologies. By all means, I don't normally do this big stretch of intro, so let's shut down the noise machine in the background. That ain't helping anything. Let's go in head first. First off, there's three links right to blow the video of the media now they just put it in the headlines in fact the headlines are not actual videos you would normally click on they're very boring headlines but the ULR in the first three links are directly to the place where the media says in two of them five million people got out of Wuhan before they had the quarantine, the lockdown, the sequestering, whatever you want to call it, martial law. So you got 5 million people, half the population of the biggest city in the province got out of Dodge, ran. So this is not like any other flu event we've ever seen on this planet where they locked down major cities, total of around 60 million, closed the borders, Hong Kong is by the end of the month will be sequestered from the mainland. And then the list goes on for many countries. They're hitting everybody coming through the country with paper suits and paper masks. Now, the paper masks, just to quantify some of this stuff, 
it can actually, it, it can't stop you ultimately from getting infected. But what it does is if you're infected or you're trying to avoid it, it's another extra barrier. You need something watertight and it covers your eyes and you need a full body respiratory suit to avoid this. And there's absolutely panic happening worldwide, unprecedented, never in the history of humanity, in the human experience, have we seen a catalyst invoke these kinds of fear. This is unprecedented. What we're going to try to bring you is some logic and actual documentation. Nothing like that has ever been tried before, certainly not. Quarantine 10 million people when you let 5 million of them run away. And for some reason, that doesn't warrant a headline. And I'll explain why. It's, uh, it's very... Um, it's very shocking why they didn't put that headline after 5 million people escaped the quarantine. Because that's a real headline, right? <laughs> that's, that's probably going to get the most views on YouTube if it comes from main... It won't for me because I'm censored, but if it comes from mainstream media, that would probably be the most views on YouTube ever in about three days. 5 million people escape a quarantine with a lethal virus in it. Oh well, yeah, that, that that's there goes the stock market and everything else. In fact, the stock market just dropped two hundred and fifty billion, and so they're out there controlling the media. And we need to bring some context so everybody's on the right pages. So here's all the basics. They've never done this before; it's so unprecedented. I'm not gonna. Typically, I would go to all the paragraphs and I would highlight them. And that's my normal for many years, right? There's just too much to cover, so we'll go walk through things. Global stocks and oil prices tanks uh, as the virus is released into the elements, into the four winds. Coronavirus, now the coronavirus is a family of viruses. We've never seen this particular strain, and it's one of its most uh, brutal attributes is it can be transferred uh, before you know you're actually infected. Now, I'm not sure when you're infected, it's probably just as bad or worse. But this is unprecedented that it has that sneak attack ability. So you can start seeing the money getting hit. China, first quarter is going to be a crash. And so you can imagine how much money we're talking about. The Cora coronavirus, the novel coronavirus fears, wiped almost half a trillion pounds off the global stocks. Half a trillion pounds. Sterlings. Wow. So you can understand why the propaganda machine is out there trying to downplay it because a lot of uh, the rich who stole from everybody just got caught with their pants down. Almost half a trillion pounds was wiped off global stocks on Monday as the rapid spread of China's deadly. Think about those connotations, how to frame in that narrative. Deadly coronavirus rattled markets. Corona death toll jumped last night. Now, it's actually almost double in one day. But what, what's not being put into the equation is there's 5 million people got out of that city which is why there's not a run on food and a run on everything else in the city because half the population is gone and it's a big half. Five million people is a big, you know, that's, you put another five million people there, you can see what's going to happen to supermarkets all of a sudden. They're not going to have nothing left on the shelves, right? And so they knew this was uh, very, very dangerous. And then, because they're the capital of that province, it has the best universities in the province, it has all the government agencies, all the big corporate rations, uh, corporations got their head offices there, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, from worldwide. And so they would have been in the know, right? This is why they waited so long. Because if you try to just 5 million people run out of a city, you're not going to get anywhere. You're going to be blocked for a week on the highway. So this was done in increments over a week or two, right? And all their wealthy children were evacuated. And the people in charge, you know, there's like the mayor, he didn't make the decision, right? He, he, he goes up the ladder, and they say, okay, now you can announce it. 
So he sat there and he even confessed twice. So it's obvious, right? He's not trying to be deceptive or deceitful or dishonest or disingenuous, right? He, he, he come out now, he's telling people, and the media's kind of trickling it out so they can say, well, no, no, we told you back when this happened. And so it's um, way more numbers than that. And now the numbers, they estimate, are very high. Uh, these are probably accurate numbers. 100,000 are infected. Tens of thousands of people worldwide. Now you had 5 million, 5 million people. A lot of them were visitors from different countries because it's the Chinese New Year, the year of the rat, right? And um, we'll get to that coming up. Because we're just going to run through the information. Then I got a bunch of pictures, and we'll just get through all these headlines right quick. The Guardian that his, well, it's not quick, but the best guess was that around 100,000 people are carrying the virus. Once again, we're pretty sure that's going to be a low number. The numbers could be as high as 200,000. But what, what, that's inside the city for the most part that they're alluding to. Corona's victims in the outbreak epic center have been spitting, not that, I don't think this is true, spitting in the faces of medics in a deliberate bid to spread the deadly bug. I think this is uh, shockingly posted that It's been shockingly claimed with no uh, way to verify, right? I think that's outrageous they printed that headline. Uh, they're, they're a disgusting tab themselves. Wearing a face mask won't protect you from this, but it will help. 100%, it's like, without it, think about this, right? Even if I throw Coke at you, a glass of Coke, it's going to stop a lot of Coke from getting into your mouth, right? And that, we're talking about a huge number. So it, it can, it's definitely going to help you. It's not going to solve, it's not going to 100%. The only way to protect you is inside a suit, not a paper suit. That's not going to protect you. You should get rid of your clothing after all the people that are wearing those paper suits. It has no problem making it through the paper suits. They're meant to make the people on the front line think that they're actually safe. It's the oldest game in the book. Uh, they use it at nuclear sites. <laughs> so that should tell you everything you know, you need to know. Uh, they burn them after. The suits, right? The suits can't protect you. It's impossible. Coronavirus, the bizarre claims that the Wuhan victims are deliberately infecting others with the demon bug. I mean, talk about insensitivity when these people are in total panic and they're coming out and being belligerent. Of course, there's going to be some incidences of where people want to get out of the city and they'll get hot-tempered. They might actually try to spit on somebody and then to blow that out of proportion as if it's a majority is outrageous. So they got one of the hospitals up and running. They're estimating to have 10,000 beds. That should tell you right away this is not like any kind of flu you ever heard of before, that this, this is in its own sphere now. This is its own universe. This is making, this is history. There's no precedence like this, right? And this scale, and uh, what they're doing is prefab. It's a prefab, and so all I got to do is just, Stick it together, right? And they got endless people they can throw at it, and they do. They have uh, unlimited resources to uh, throw at it in the air. And this is a good thing in one way, but if you're one of the victims that walks through the door and there's a lot of infected people, think about tuberculosis. If you go on that site, you're probably going to get infected, right? How can you not? Because this is airborne, and when you got enough of them together, the air is going to be saturated. Even though you might have incredible filters, filtration systems, air ducts, and everything else, everything in, it, it lands on stuff. You you can't help but touch things, right? And so if you're in if you're in harm's way, uh, don't be touching your eyes. And so wear thick gloves. That way, you're less likely to try to touch your eyes accidentally there's, there's a number of these things because you're, you're going to have to go out and get food if you're in harm's way china appears to be making good they built this place and they alleged in four days my heart goes out to the people just it's horrifying 
They're going to be sequestered, quarantined for up to six months. How are they going to pay their bills? How are they going to be able to afford food? How are they going to pay their mortgages? How are they going to pay their car insurance? How, how are they going to accomplish? Like most people live in check to check, right? Where this is, uh, but there's more to this story. There's 5 million escaped. It, it could take 10, 12, 14 days for this to manifest and be diagnosed. And then they can contaminate absurd amounts of people in the meantime. The media is mostly owned by the large corporations that are hemorrhaging stocks and everything right now. It's in their interest to downplay this again. The same it was in China where certain people kept it silent and evacuated an absurd amount of people before they quarantined the, the rest, right? So the, the, the cover-up started several weeks ago when he started evacuating 5 million. 5 million. And so the media's are now claiming there's 11 million people there, but there's not. See? There's 6 million. There's, it's an incredible discrepancy between 6 million and, <laughs> and 11 million. is a big discrepancy, okay? If you've got to hand them all baseball caps, it's a big discrepancy. One of the most popular TV shows, hey, um, I missed the headline, did I? So they're equating it with Chernobyl because Chernobyl was a major cover-up. In fact, if you're not familiar about Chernobyl, they closed 9,000 farms in Ireland, Scotland, UK. Not just Chernobyl, not the 30-mile exclusion zone. And then they didn't tell them. So there was another cover-up of Chernobyl, not just in Ukraine, but also in Ireland, Scotland, UK, and many other countries, by the way. And I covered these. Um, I've actually done presentations, uh, say, for 2019. I've done two presentations for Chernobyl. They're on this site here. And it's around 700 academic studies you've never seen before about Chernobyl. And you're certainly never going to see it in the movie Chernobyl. Let's keep going. Enough about me. Let's get on more about this. And so these people don't have anything else to equate what's going on to, so they have equated it with Chernobyl. I'm not going to try to walk you through it, but I'll give you the logistics is that uh, the cover-up has many similar attributes. Coronavirus spread getting stronger as number of deaths rise to 100. There's, there's a good reason to believe there's a lot more than that have died and that certain entities have been withholding this documentation. As this, there is many precedents uh, for that kind of behavior in the past. So China's history of building hospitals in times of crisis. Indonesian government takes uh, out these, uh, I think they got eight of them, evacuation capsules. And this is what I mean when I say it's uh, many countries are extremely vulnerable and they know it. And you can see it in these connotations and these headlines. The Ministry of Health itself has activated 21 evacuation capsules it, to anticipate the spread of the virus. Now, many countries got the exact same things, not just this one country. It's most, almost every country uh, now has gone full board or looking for funding, which they'll get right away. The Brits are trapped in Wuhan, say panic in the city was something you see in a movie. Yeah, because five million people evacuated, and the rest of them wasn't in the know. The other six million wasn't in the know, right? And these are uh, very wide streets, ultimately. This is a uh, major, the capital of the province. Um, so once again, you see a city of 11 million remain on lockdown. It's not, it's only 6 million. And the documentation is below the video here. You can go watch the media uh, acknowledge that 5 million were evacuated. They're still refusing, all the media is still refusing to fixate on that a little bit in order to, in order to, um, because they're going to keep telling you this lie where everybody, oh, everybody's sequestered, we got them locked down, you no, know, oh, that's not coronavirus. Be very careful of media, it's owned by corporate personhoods, 
and their interest is the their picture, not yours. So that they invoke now martial law. They have no choice apparently, and it's done. So another British man traveled to Wuhan to visit his girlfriend is stuck in the city. Uh, he described trying to get out of the area as impossible. Yet 5 million got out. Uh, the death toll jumped to 106. We just we covered that at the very beginning. Wuhan is a ghost town and we've been abandoned, said a UK scientist. Britain's trapped in the Chinese city at the heart of the coronavirus outbreak have condemned the UK's government. Well, the UK government can't just bring, you know, remember the controversy when they were trying to bring uh, Ebola victims somewhere, right? So right now this has gripped the entire planet. Dr. Oz, right? That's not Dr. Oz, dear Dana. That's okay, we'll get to Dr. Oz. We got a picture of him somewhere. There's his big forehead. He said he's not worried about it. Not as deadly as as we feared is what he told a uh, a big uh, big media out there with a lot of traction, and so that's how outrageous Doctor Oz would do that when he knew bloody well it is. Isn't stressed about the virus; it was making it to the U.S. It's impossible for it not to show. I think everybody's going to be get the virus. Is what I think is is about to happen because five million people got out. This is why the media is not repeating that loud and clear. UK Foreign Office warns against all but essential travel to China. So Europe, all of Europe is looking at that. Entry back into the United Kingdom from China may become more difficult in the coming days. Yeah, by January the 30th, I think they're going to lock down the planet. United Airlines, well, it certainly looks that way. I have enough evidence. Uh, to back up those assertions, United Airlines suspending flights to China. So we see many uh, so the type of vaccines, but a typical vaccine, the best you could hope for is maybe seven months. We got a story about that coming up. Coronavirus outbreak poised to hit Apple's supply chains. So it's not just stock markets that are crashing. It's also um, supply chains. It's not just Apple. China makes a lot. In fact, a lot of, you know, like Walmart is probably going to go out of business, right? I won't be shopping at Walmart. I don't anyway, but definitely won't be shopping, uh, letting my loved ones shop at Walmart. Coronavirus threatened the fuel. So you can see how this can, right, how this goes. Perfect storm of discontent in Hong Kong. And Hong Kong announced they're going to shut it all down, all borders. They're going, to, they're going to throttle the borders, choke them down to nothing, um, to a trickle maybe, by January the 30th in just a few days. And uh, in Beijing, they actually burned down one of the hospitals they were planning on using for the victims. Denmark refuses to apologize to China over the coronavirus <laughs> cartoon. I'm not laughing, I'm just, I'm laughing at the arrogance that they done that. Like what was going through their head they act, that they would actually put something like that there? <laughs> I'm a Canadian, so I got a bit of a sense of humor. And I was like, oh my goodness, I can't believe they actually done that. But they did. So in one sense, right, that's not, that's pretty, that's pretty rude to do something like that for major media. And then other media now is regurgitating it. Coronavirus begins to sicken cargo sector of the airplanes. So there's some controversy about how hard it is to get the virus if you got somebody on the plane. In fact, uh, there's a story about it. People wouldn't even get on the plane because there were 16 people from Wuhan coming up here shortly. Deadly coronavirus that has shuttered uh, several Chinese cities could provide a triple punch. A triple punch worldwide, actually. Facebook? That's a joke, Facebook. You can go to China. 
It's okay. You can take my word. I wouldn't lie to you. I wouldn't lie to you. Facebook, you can go to China. You'll be just fine. You you can't get hurt by a disease if you work for Facebook. You're like all those superheroes I showed you at the beginning. You'll be fine, trust me. The tech giant said it was acting out of an abundance of caution to protect its employees. You only need one of them to get sick. <laughs> it's going to happen to Facebook for sure. That's cool. You're all going to get it. Vile extremist pastor claimed the Wuhan coronavirus outbreak is God purging. Man. Why the devil coronavirus has hit European stocks hard? The devil. So, like, when have you ever heard of a flu with those types of connotations? When, right? Name one time in history we've seen. Like, this is gallows laugh. I'm not happy. I'm not joy or something like that. This is gallows laugh because if I don't laugh, I'm going to scream. A whopping 200 billion was wiped out from the European stocks at the start of the week. 200 billion European. Woo! Wow. They're going to try to bury this and, and kill everybody. They don't care. As long as they get their money back, they'll be there <coughs> dying in the virus. I got my money back. Coronavirus is the black swan. Like we're getting real close to the words plague. Yeah? We really are. This has all those attributes of a plague. DOSB president describes coronavirus as the greatest threat to the Olympics. I meant to include that in last night's show, but I didn't. Because we don't have to worry about the Olympics in Japan. And the reason we're worried is because of all the... We have four melted nuclear reactors, so we have two major events going on at the one time that are going to be sustaining each other. I'm still gathering up more material on Fukushima's nuclear meltdowns and other nuclear issues. They're a threat to all life, all every species. I'm not sure how the coronavirus is going to affect species. When it, and how it allegedly came from species, but it also allegedly was a weaponized virus. We don't know. We might never know. But we definitely don't want to rule it out. America alone... I can't remember the exact numbers. There's around 4,000 biological weapon sites across the country. Russia's got the same. China's got the same. It's only a matter of time before we've seen something. And so this is this one, and appears, appears to be true that it's contagious before you can. Uh, there's any symptoms. This is unprecedented. This is what makes it so scary. This is why they're attempting to quarantine six million people. People, not 11. 6 million. I'm glad the Olympics are not going to happen there because there's so much radiation. They're, they're insane, right, they're in Japan. We'll get to that later. You can go watch some of my other presentations on that. Um, we got over 1,000 there. How China's coronavirus outbreak is spreading tremors in the year of the rat to world markets. So there's a lot going on. Um, that a lot of people are not aware of. What I'm trying, I'm bringing you this incredible diversity of news. You're not going to find anything on the internet. And uh, the other thing about me is, I'm, I'm very rarely will I make a Freudian slip. I don't talk about anything unless we got the evidence to substantiate it, to back it up, and, and so that because we're trying, I'm trying to teach. It's a teaching. It's an educational program usually about nuclear, but I, I can also shake and move with other subjects. Scottish scientists leading race to develop vaccine for deadly. And so this is her here. She figures she can solve it in about seven months. The lab was responsible for creating a vaccine in the Zika virus. And of course, the Zika virus has uh, the same kind of problems as if you were had you were um, irradiated from man-made ionizing radiation your parents and you were born the babies would have the same disfigurements with zika 
as they would with uh, radioactive fallout, or if their parents were consuming a lot of uh, radioactive contaminated food and drink, then they would, their children would stand. We've seen it, uh, these illnesses show up around nuclear power plants. And then we look at the nuclear testing throughout history, how, well, there's orphanages throughout Ukraine, Belarus, that are full of disfigured and de dis deformed children with no one to love them, abandoned because of Chernobyl. It's absurd. And we know Japan has the same thing going on. Let's keep going. The university graduate said it hoped for a vaccine in just four months. They say that right now they're ready to test do the first part of the testing. And the World Health Organization is definitely not an organization that anybody can trust. And that's the problem, right? We got the media over the last number of years and so many lies. How can you trust them when it comes to a subject like this when they, we got them lying? Because that's what we cover. We cover, we, there's so much of this we've covered, probably 15,000 of the media lying examples of it we provide the documentation to bust them and move on to the next one because there's so much of it right so i i don't think the billing in the background is what they're talking about it could be but if they built that in just uh two days that, that's pretty darn impressive if you ask me and that's the pictures that they're showing for some reason well 48 hours uh, after they leveled it poured the cement because this is a uh, now, I've seen many years ago, a friend of mine had built a house with prefab. He built it in like two weeks or something, but he spent a half million for the house. It was a beautiful, amazing house. And it took him about two weeks to put the whole thing up. It was just stunning. But anyway, this is what they're claiming, that they built one of the hospitals. So if you go in there, you're, you're going to get sick, even if you're not sick, right? Escalating crisis and lockdowns, but the lockdowns, the five million people got out, and for some reason, none of the media got that for a headline. That should worry people. Have led to 56 million being under quarantine. 56 million people. How are they going to pay their bills? How are they going to pay their insurance and buy food and pay the rent or, or blah 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 blah? Right? It's crazy. And so this is not like any flu we've ever seen in history. It's not like any other disease we've ever seen in history. What we're talking about, but 5 million people got out, but now they got 60 million locked down, but it's, they needed to lock down the other 5 million, and they're gone to the four winds. And so you'll hear the media out there saying they're trying to track down everybody that might have been in contact with somebody there. But 5 million is a lot of people. That's an incredible amount of people. This is uh, shocking that it, that that happened. That, that's what if because like when they were evacuating five million people without telling the rest of them or us, that was the time we should have been on this, right? We lost that precious time with five million people running free. This is catastrophic. Uh, how how are you going to contain the five million that? got out they were obviously wealthy on top of that and so they had many resources to travel places it was only the, mostly the impoverished were left behind coronavirus panic passengers refused to fly with the wuhan residents and so there was uh, 70 people passengers wouldn't get on the plane because there were 16 from wuhan right we've seen another video day of a taxi driver a guy wanted to be brought to the hospital, and taxi driver says, uh, where are you from? And he said, so-and-so. He said, well, you don't sound like you're from there. And then he just kicked him out of the car. And then, put, then he called the police. He put the video on YouTube on top of that. The travelers were finally able to board the flight and fly to Shanghai. Just because they're not so showing symptoms doesn't mean that uh, it's safe, right? It's, it's, this, this is nutty as it gets. Since the coronavirus spreads even before infected, there is mass panic in the country. Okay, and so that's the headlines. We get through the, all of these pictures. They won't take very long. The idea was to bring you a lot of information in, in a tight package 
And as this develops, now I literally never slept only about an hour, hour and a half since yesterday, since the last show, because we got to make sure this is not what it looks like. I got to debunk. And what you're seeing here tonight is me debunking, me not wanting this to be real. And I can't debunk it. There's so many facets that, you know, so many minutiae of the minutiae of the minutiae, the details of the details of the details, that I can't possibly articulate that in these videos. But I, I probably will in the next coming while, because this looks like we're, we're at the very beginning of this. We got 10, 12 days to go before we actually see real numbers. And I think they're going to be terrifying and worldwide by the looks of it. So this is what it used to look like. Busy, right? Busy sidewalks. Busy, 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 right? And now we got people. We got people going unconscious in the streets. Fainting because they're so sick and weak. I'll bring it up to the big, big, big screen. And then you got people in paper suits on the buses. People so weak, they got to lie down on the floor. And everybody's afraid to go close to them and help them because they're worried about contamination. There's a police there. It won't let anybody go close. This is in the hospital, if I remember correctly. Yeah, yeah, it's in the hospital. And everybody's just standing there looking at the victims. You got people coming out and falling down. You got... Ambulances showing up in paper suits. I call it paper suits because they can't really protect you. You need an actual rubber suit and a very high quality one to protect you. You have to get rid of your clothing after. And so we got a lot of this. We got people just going to the hospital and nurses and doctors just fainting. There's a lot of evidence. You got this guard there falling face first. <coughs> crazy stuff right and then uh, your people in the paper suits falling down a lot of people fainting because they're weak and sick in a lot of places you can see now where they got city blocked off in areas it's really something. And then you got the city abandoned by six or five million people with six million locked down. English titles there, right? You notice that? And we got every country in the world running at it. Then we got every country in the world uh, getting budgets for their borders, for the airports, for the and then they have the airplane passengers. We got a lot of different fasts this going on. They built this. I'll get out of the way. They built this. We'll shoot through the rest of this. This is all pictures from here on out. And so the, all of these people have to get infected at some point. That's the prime minister, I guess. Is it a, China's the prime minister? And then look at this construction, though, for the hospital. That was really something, yeah? They, they, they flattened that place in just two days. And so we're seeing, we're seeing real problems, real issues. Now, one of the big things you got to realize, one of the big things you got to realize is that your hospitals in your typical communities, say North America and other countries, their budget, the people that worked there for many years and their children worked there, their children, they're used to stealing a lot of the budget. So when they have something like this happen, they get really frustrated and they don't want to help anybody because they see the budget just disappearing right away in 24 hours or 48 hours, right? And not everybody's like that, but you're seeing a lot of these weird things. You can't wrap your mind around why they're being so weird at these hospitals. That's their job, right? And they know it. They train for it. But they're used to stealing budgets because they, 
they have money set aside for these pandemics every year as part of legislation, but they don't actually utilize it because we don't have pandemics. And they discourage, they're so used to saying no to people with the flu because the symptoms are the same, but they're totally different than the flu, obviously. And there's a lot of people die from the flu every year, right? But it's, t it's different from what we're seeing here, though. They don't lock down countries ever because of flus, right? This is, this is a real nasty virus, uh, part of that family, the coronavirus. So they're scanning people. Now, this is rudimentary stuff where they're, they're looking at monitors to see if they can see any kind of heat discrepancy in the hopes of stopping them at the border. I think that's more of a feel-good measure. And then the solution would be to have medical teams there testing them to see if they can, taking samples, putting it under a microscope right away and looking for the virus. And I'll be doing that here. And so the media was, it's going to feed you the status quo. I'm going to feed you the, the, the missing part of that equation so that you can have both of them. Because most people are stuck with the media. But how do you interpret it? And how do you, and how do you aggregate it in order to get the whole story? So that's what we try to do here. We bring you most of the story. You should be able to extrapolate from what you learn from a single one of these presentations. You would have extrapolated enough information you can make informed decisions um, on your own that are accurate, right? That's the idea to get you who are not quite aware or who is struggling to comprehend the scale and the enormity of this and be able to extrapolate the information you're looking for. So this is what you see here is martial law. It doesn't mean in this circumstance it's not necessarily ominous, it's not necessarily bad or evil. It's people that are going to walk in the harm's way because that's what they're doing. They're going in, they're going to take over, and they're going to get the job done because there's going to be a lot of victims for sure. And ultimately, we don't know how this disease is going to play out. Can you re-catch the disease right away? You go there, you get cured, everybody around you is sick. Next thing you know, you got it again because we've seen this with flus many times, right? Is animals going to get it? Are they going to transmit it to other animals, to insects? To All of this is unknown. These are questions we definitely need to ask because we're watching the planet panic. This is something I've never seen, and I don't have any, any history books showing us stuff like this it's because we're connected. We're able, and in one sense, it's good. In the other sense, it's terrible because this is show up in our neighborhoods right away, right? So the best thing is everybody start getting on the right page, which is enough information. Once again, look in the background. Uh, see Buddy up there with a gun in his hand up by the D? He's actually got a finger on the trigger there. Look at him. That's uh, really, that really tells you the story. And then, of course, the, I've seen there was a, King 5 News yesterday, they were actually downplaying the living daylights out of this. But at the end of their presentation, one of the councilwomen had said where they had a small budget and they can't handle all the people showing up at the hospital looking to see if they're sick. And you can see that they don't care about people. They cared about their money. But we've seen that many times. So the military now, which is much needed, because the hospital work has been ran ragged for many days straight, right? They're not going to get a break either, kind of like me. Now, he's spraying, he's spraying um, some kind of region steer, sterilize it, or um, some kind of cleaner, I would imagine. You can't really see it in this, but we're seeing a lot of uh, applications like that. He's doing the same thing there, and it's, it's hard to notice in these pictures, but he's actually spraying. They're checking everybody. Now, he's, he's got a paper suit on. He's been exposed to everybody. He's got goggles on that are not real good goggles or nothing. He's definitely going to be one of those people that gets sick. He has the illusion that the paper suit can protect him, but it absolutely unequivocally could not. And then the first video below, 
you see her in a different uh, outfit talking about 5 million people. That was yesterday's video. Today we got two more videos. They're, all three of those videos are linked below. This is one, they got three, going to build three hospitals that can hold 10,000 people. These are prefab buildings. And um, expect to see a lot more of these. Because otherwise, everybody in the hospitals, you need the hospitals for other stuff, right? So the hospitals are going to be completely contaminated. We've seen um, episodes where hospitals have been contaminated by uh, radioactive material before recently, too, where uh, material was brought to the hospital for alleged treatments, which doesn't work that way, and broke open and contaminated large sections of the hospitals permanently. And so they got endless people to work on these facilities. And this was uh, yesterday's video, I think, this stuff. It's right by the uh, water. I think that's the ocean there. It's a good way to get, if there's a lot of people dying, it's a good way to get them out of everybody's sights instead of having all the... And then the end of it here is, you see media saying there's 2.4, 2.5 to 4 new cases between each each person is infected will infect 2.4 to 2 to 4. It's actually not. It's around 10. There's a study showed up a few days ago that really articulates that how 10 people can easily be contaminated by a single individual. But if they get on a subway or get on a bus, the bus might stay contaminated for two days. And then other people might keep, keep that contamination running extended period so they're shutting it all down they're shutting it down all the concerts they're shutting down all the all the sports facilities they're shutting down all the schools all the universities all the gatherings all the malls anywhere where people gather outside of the supermarkets and so they're still this is very early it's in its infancy so trying to tra trying to trace 2000 china visitors but it's actually 5 million people got out of the city that they need to trace. They have addresses to those cities. They have driver's licenses to those cities. They have credit cards for those cities. They have bank accounts. They have light and power bills for those cities. You can actually trace them if you tried. But there's 5 million of them. I know I sound kooky, right? But I'm just trying to bring you to the information. So 2,000 is meant to pacify you to think, oh, they're out there, they got a big job ahead of them. The yeah, job is actually 5 million people, and everybody they come in contact with, every taxi they rode in, it's very, 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 very frightening um, story. That's it. That's what I got for you tonight. God bless everybody. Hugs for everybody. Probably be back tomorrow night, I would imagine, because I'm on a frenzy trying to find out what what's happening, trying to nail down the facts as you've seen tonight. It's an absurd amount of work to gather all of this up in increments over the last 24 hours. And so I'm starting to wrap my mind around the, the, the many, many facets, and there's many I'm not aware of that I, over the next few days I will be. And then at the same time, hopefully can make you aware too. Give us a thumbs up if you are got a YouTube account and you don't mind doing stuff like that. If not, consider sharing me on Facebook or Twitter or something like that. God bless everybody. Hugs for everybody. And my heart goes out to the victims, not just China, but worldwide, that are worried, sick, and are struggling and are attempting to deal with this issue. Hopefully this presentation got you up to speed on some of the facets some of the issues there's there's a lot goes into these videos there's a lot of information there god bless there's links below to the five million people missing to help um, quantify those assertions god bless everybody love everyone take care we'll see everybody soon